to Kalpana's Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to teach you what are the steps involved to find the root of an algebraic equation using newton raphson method. So, newton raphson method is one of the numerical method that is used to find the approximate root of an algebraic equation. Let us consider an algebraic equation f of x equals to 0. The function may be a trigonometric function or exponential function, logarithmic function, polynomial function, the steps are same. So the following are the steps to find the approximate root of an algebraic equation using newton raphson method. So the, the first step, step 1 is fixing the interval. fixing the interval. So here we choose two points in such A and B in such that f of A and f of B are opposite signs then the root lies between A and B. In other way let us take x equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and substitute these values in the given function f of x you will get some values and observe the values where you get uh, opposite signs the positive, negative and the positive those two points are the intervals. So, the next step is fix initial guess. Initial guess x0 such that f of x0 value is approximately 0 and by initial guess x0 value it should be in between the interval a and b. So that is the, the second step. And coming to the third step, find the derivative of the function. So that is f dot f dash x. And after finding the derivative, find f of x naught and f dash x naught. So this is the third step. And step 4. In the step 4, our approximation process will start. And the formula for finding the first approximation using Newton Raphson method is x1 equals to x0 minus f of x0 by f dash x0. So this is the formula for finding the, the first approximation value. So then the step 4. So step 5 is find f of x1 and f dash x1. And step 6. The second approximation using the Newton Raphson formula. So x2 equals to x1 minus f of x1 by derivative of x1 f dash x1 so the same procedure is repeated from step 3 until the last two approximation values are approximately same so then you can stop the iteration procedure then the solution for the given function is the last approximation value. So let me solve one example for easy understanding of the, the newton raphson method. Find the root of x cube minus 3x plus 1 using newton raphson method corrected to 3 decimals. So this is the question. So first write down the given equation f of x equals to x cube minus 3x plus 1. For Newton Raphson method, the step 1 is first fix the intervals or the points where the root lies. So 
put x equals to 0 in the given equation f of 0 equals to 0 minus 0 plus 1 so f of 0 value is 1 then put x equals to 1 and f of 1 equals to 1 minus 3 plus 1 so this is minus 2 and then put x equals to 2 so f of 2 equals to 8 minus 6 plus 1 so that is 3 so you observe these two points one is f of 1 is the negative value and f of 2 is a positive value so therefore the root lies between the 1 and 2 so the root lies between between 1 and 2 so step 1 is completed then go for the step 2 so that is guessing the initial value so fix the initial guess so this can be uh, the initial guess value should be in between 1 and 2 if you observe f of 1 value it is minus 2 and f of 2 is the 3 value so those two are not approximately 0 so for that case we can take x naught equals to the average of these two points 1 and 2 what is the average of 1 and 2 so 1.5 and find out the f of x naught so f of x naught just substitute 1.5 value in the given equation 1.5 whole cube minus 3 into 1.5 plus 1 and subst after substitution you will get minus 0 0.125 so this is close to 0 so therefore our initial guess is 1.5 then what is the third step find the derivative of the given function so the derivative of the given function f dash x is so 3 x cube x cube derivative is 3 x square minus 3 x x derivative is 1 so 3 and 1 derivative is 0 so the derivative function is f dash x equals to 3 x square minus 3 then find out the f of x naught value we have f of x naught value that is minus 0 0.125 and find out the f dash x naught value just substitute uh, x naught is 1.5 in the given equation 3 into 1.5 whole square minus 3 you will get 3.75 so these are the f of x naught and f dash x naught values. So then go for the next step. So that is the first approximation. So by using Newton Raphson formula, x1 equals to x naught minus f of x naught by f dash x naught. So x naught is 1.5 minus f of x naught. f of x naught is minus 0 0.125 by 3.75 and after substitution you will get 1.533 so this is the x1 value so then find out the f of x1 so f of x1 equals to so the x cube, x cube is 1.533 whole cube minus 3 into 1.533 plus 1, you will get 0 0.0058 and find out the f dash x1. So that is 3x square, 3 into 1.533 whole square minus 3, so that equals to 4.053. Then go for the, the second approximation. So x2 equals to x1 
minus f of x1 by f dash x1. So x1 is, what is the x1 value? 1.533. 1.533 minus f of x1. So f of x1 is 0 0.0058 by f dash x1 is 4.053. So that equals to 1.532. So this is the, the second approximation x2 equals to 1.532. So then find out the f of x2. So f of x2 equals to 1.532 whole cube minus 3 into 1.532 plus 1 is equals to minus 0 0.0012 so this is the f of x2 value then find out f dash x2 so f dash x2 equals to 3x square 1.532 whole square minus 3 you will get 4.0392 then go for the third approximation x3 equals to x2 minus f of x2 by f dash x2. So x2 what is the x2 value 1.532 minus f of x2 minus of 0 0.0012 by f dash x2. 4.0392 and you will get 1.532. So if you observe the x2 and x3, the values are the same 1.532 and 1.532. So you can stop the iteration and the root of the given equation x cube minus 3x plus 1 correct to 3 decimals is 1.532 so this is the, the solution if you feel this video is informative please like share and subscribe my channel click the bell icon for quick updates